breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unamdikano will be shocked. Lawyer on beheading of a number of lawmaker. Unamdikano will be shocked. Lawyer on beheading of a number of lawmaker. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. If you are in a geo for a council of Unamdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hype Up, has reacted to the beheading of O.K. Okoye, a member of the Anambra State House of Assembly by unknown gunmen. A for said, Kano would be gravely shocked to learn of such killings in the Southeast. He lamented that blood-sucking demons have taken over the Southeast. Gunmen that kidnapped the deceased will represent Aguata 2 State Constituency in Aguata a few weeks ago. But the police discovered Okoye's head without a body on Saturday. The lawmaker's decapitated head was recovered at a motor park in Unnobi. Reacting to the incident, a Jofo said Kano would not condone such act in the southeast. In a statement, a Jofo said those behind such killings in the southeast were out to demonize IPOV. He said, Dear Igbos of Goodwill, our land is under siege by blood sucking demons. It is no longer in doubt that the insecurity rocking the southeast region has taken an entirely troubling dimension and cannot be allowed to continue. Yesterday, being the 21st day of May 2022, I was inundated with the most unbelievable news making round of the gruesome torture and subsequent beheading of one Mr. Okechuku Okoye and his co-traveller in a number of states by their abductors. May I assure you all at this point in time that my indefatigable client, Onamdi Kano, will be gravely shocked and saddened by the dastardly act too. Having previously and severally mandated me in the past to condemn such barbaric act on his behalf. These monsters that kidnap for ransoms have no connection whatsoever with the freedom fighting movement. They are impostors and islands whose singular objective is to kill and destroy in a, in a calculated attempt to demonize IPOP. This is coming a few weeks after a military couple were killed in Imo State. Ninja Loaded recalls that Master Warrant Officer MWO how do M. Linus retired and private Gloria Matthew were beheaded on their way to perform their traditional marriage. The Nigerian army accused IPO and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, of being responsible for the killing. However, IPO had distanced ESN from the killing. Describing the incident as an abomination, IPOP spokesman 
A more powerful said the group could not have out their daughter. If you are in a jail for a council of Unamdekano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo, has reacted to the beheading of Oke Okoye, a member of the Anambra State House of Assembly by unknown gunmen. A Jofo said Kanu would be gravely shocked to learn of such killings in the Southeast. He lamented that blood sucking demons have taken over the Southeast. Gunmen had kidnapped the deceased, who represent Aguata 2 state constituency in Aguata a few weeks ago. But the police discovered Okoye's head without a body on Saturday. The lawmaker's decapitated head was recovered at a motor park in Unnavi. Reacting to the incident, a Jehovah said Kano would not condone such act in the Southeast. In a statement, a Jehovah said those behind such killings in the Southeast were out to demonize IPOP. The Igbos of goodwill, our land is under siege by blood sucking demons. It is no longer in doubt that the insecurity rocking the southeast region has taken an entirely troubling dimension and cannot be allowed to continue. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.